Hi again, everyone. Chris Tisdale here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series on matrices. Now, after engaging with this video, you'll be able to do the following things. You'll be able to define the identity matrix and the inverse of a matrix. You'll be able to explain their role in matrix multiplication. You'll be able to compute the determinant and the inverse of an invertible two by two matrix. And you'll also be able to explain the relationship between the determinant and the existence of an inverse matrix. Anyway, hope you all enjoy everybody. If you're watching on a mobile device, please let me know what the experience is like. So let's move on to speak of the identity uh, the identity matrix, which is a special matrix, and also we'll talk about inverse and determinant. Now, the identity matrix plays a similar role in the theory of matrices as the number one does in the real numbers, okay? And multiplication. So, um, if I wanted to write down An example of an identity matrix, this is a two by two matrix, and that's the identity matrix in, in that setting, okay? You can see that there's down the diagonal, which is just the main diagonal, which is just this, so sort of going down these entries here, down the diagonal, from top to bottom, left to right, is all ones, and everywhere else is zeros, okay? So if, let's say if I wanted to write down a three by three, identity matrix. Here it's a bit bigger than the previous one. You've got zeros down that main diagonal and, uh, sorry, ones down that main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Okay, so Okay, so if I wanted to sort of write down a general identity matrix with some elements just you know, scratched in. By the big zeros, I mean just zeros everywhere else, okay? Now, the identity plays an important role similar to that of the number one in the real numbers in the sense that it is a multiplicative identity. In other words, if you take a matrix A and you multiply through by i on either side, it doesn't matter, then you get the matrix A, the thing that you started with. Okay? So here we're talking about square matrices. By square matrices, say, matrices I mean they're not rectangular, they're actually, well, they're square. Okay, so they're two by two, three by three, n by n. Okay, so we've talked about addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication. The last piece of the puzzle that's missing is division. But matrices are a bit strange in the sense that it actually doesn't make sense to divide one matrix by another. Okay? So how do we get around it? Well, we can still define the related and important operations via what's known as an inverse matrix. Okay? So essentially we're going to use multiplication instead of division, just in a slightly different way. Okay, so suppose A is a square matrix. The inverse of A is denoted by this with the little minus one uh, superscript is, a, uh, is a, uh, a matrix that satisfies the following properties. If you take A and you multiply by its inverse, the product is the identity matrix. Okay? And it doesn't matter which way around you do this, for, identity, uh, for inverse matrices, they have to sat, you know, be able to switch the, the order around and still multiply to give you the identity in, in both cases. 
Now, not all matrices have an inverse. Okay? Not all matrices have an inverse. Now, so let's talk about this a bit more. How, how do I compute or calculate these inverse matrices? Well, for a 2 by 2 matrix, it's relatively easy. And in fact, it's, um, you know, it, it's, it's you sh you know, many people can remember the formula for a 2 by 2 matrix and its, and its inverse. OK, so here I've got a matrix with these elements. How do I calculate the inverse? Well, essentially for 2 by 2, it's the following. You form a special um, quantity called a determinant of a 2 by 2, and the, the determinant is just formed as following. Basically, you're multiplying diagonally. So this determinant is 1 times 4 minus 2 times 3. Okay, so you've got a scalar here, and then you take A and you slightly move around some of the elements. So you switch one with four, so these diagonal elements, and the other two diagonal elements, you just change the signs on them. Okay, you keep them the same. Okay, so if I simplify this, I'll get um, four minus six on the bottom. This then, for this basic example, is claimed to be my inverse matrix of A. OK, so let's actually check to see whether it really does satisfy these. Now, I won't do both of them. I'll just do one of them. OK? So we know that this product should be the identity matrix. OK, so I'm just going to test to see if this really does satisfy. OK, this isn't a matrix here. Well, I guess it's a tiny little matrix. <laughs> OK, so I can kind of keep that minus 1 half. I can just leave it there. And it'll be this row times this column, so 4 minus 6 minus 2. This row times this column will give us the next entry, so um, minus 2 plus 2, 0. This row times this column will give us this entry, so 12 minus 12. And this row times this column will give us that one, so minus 6 plus 4. So if I factor in this minus 1 half, I do get the identity matrix. OK? Now, I haven't done it both ways. I've shown that this left-hand side holds. For the right-hand side, it's very similar. I won't do that. I'll leave that for you to do. But in general, then, let's write down this form for the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix, if it exists. Okay, So in general, so let's just have elements A, B, C, and D. The inverse. is just this matrix, where this little triangle is the determinant of A. OK? So sometimes you write this as a delta or a little triangle. Sometimes it's um, the you know, DET, determinant of, of, of A. Now, I said before that not all matrices have inverses. 
So I guess you could formulate a matrix where that, the, the determinant, is 0. And this formula then wouldn't work because you'd be dividing by 0 there. So if the determinant's 0, then the original matrix does not have an inverse. And we say that A is a singular matrix. In fact, A is singular if and only if the determinant's 0. Okay, so that's a basic 2 by 2 case. 